What's up everybody, me time gamer here bring you episode 2 of Fallout 4 PS4 mod, so if you're ready, I'm ready, time to roll the intro. Let's go, pal. Alright guys, so yeah, I'm gonna bring you episode 2 of our mod series for Fallout 4 on the PS4. So yeah, so you got, you see the three ones I select there, these are the ones today, I'm gonna try to get to all of them. I think the only one is the Mauberge, I won't, probably won't have time to explore all of it. So yeah, we'll go from there, we'll check it out. The first one I'm gonna be showing you right now is uh, the developer room, so let's get going. Alright guys, so the first thing we're gonna go check is the developer room. So basically the, what the developer is... It unlocks basically everything that's in the game. So it's a big room with everything in the game. So they, they got a map marker once you loaded the mod using the system there before you load into your game. Puts a map marker on so you guys can see where it is. So right now we'll, we'll walk right through to it. Uh, right there. Nice little, uh, okay. Some, uh, <laughs> some door in a mountain, that's really cool. Hopefully it's unlocked here. Tunnels. Oh shit. Alright. Oh shit, eh? Alright, so we are in the dev room. So basically, this dev room holds everything in the game. It, well, it should. Yeah. Gun mods. Burnt technical guide. Uh, what is this? Tesla rifle. Drawing the mechanism, okay. Ooh, a lot of power armors. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there are, these are all the variant models. That's pretty cool. So the different types of uh, thingamabobbers for power armor. The bases. All the crafting. Terminals. Where the fuck are you going? Test terminal. What can we test on this terminal? Okay. Test note. The recreational terminal is a privilege to work. Okay, that's pretty funny. Okay, so these are the DLC ones. Oh great, there's a fusion core. I'll just slow it in so it doesn't slow me down because I'm got too much stuff on me. Now there is a lot of artifacts here. You can actually well, see it. It's a bit weird. I, th I think that's what you call artifacting when it fl when it does that. I'm not sure. Okay, we looked a bit. The, the meat and potatoes, it's not necessarily the location-wise, but more like discipline. Okay. These are all the, the armors. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Thirsty Zapper Quantum Mod, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, these. Oh, okay, these are the DLC mods. All mix, all consumable, all scrap, all low games. How many is there? I think I think I'm missing the the Grognat and Ruby runes. Anyway, let's go back to Commonwealth. We're going to be trying another mod. All right, guys. So the next mod we're going to try it's the Castle Revamp. So this adds a couple of things to the game. It I think it rebuilds the wall, the walls, and adds a lot of green around it. So let's travel right right now. All right, so we are in the castle. Look at all the greenery and stuff. It looks so pretty. Nice. Idea. So much history was forgotten. So we actually rebuilt. Actually, no, I'm I'm sort of lost now. I don't know which side is which here. That's the interest. This this is the. Oh okay. Oh shit. All right, so because. Because I already had uh, walls, before. I I personally built walls before, so it sort of screwed me up a bit here. So I'm kind of stuck. So keep in mind, if you have built walls before around the castle, uh, don't go outside. <laughs> so because I just got stuck doing that. So all right, yeah. So okay. 
No, that makes more sense. All right, so yeah, it adds, it adds sort of like the simple green mod I did last time. Adds a lot of greenery. It adds a lot of, uh, basically, it took everything, like all the walls I personally put in, and replaces them. Like it looks, it looks a lot nice, a lot nicer now. Uh, that's a bit the uh, a bit weird, but texture you know, can only only works from one side. But it, it's cool though. It adds a lot. It added the flags, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you see the wall. <laughs> There's the wall I did. It's sort. I think it. Does it? Okay, that's. Oh yeah, it retextures. I think the. The floor too here. Uh, let's go. Let's go back inside to see if we can see there's cool stuff inside. Now keep in mind when you're activating mods, it might fuck around with the stuff you already have there. Just when you're base building. So when you're dealing with con uh, structural stuff, it might be a bit weird. All right, so. As you can see, it seems like the mod like lowered the plane here a bit. Oh yeah, okay, the beer bot's here. It does seem like it enhanced it a bit. Uh, not a lot, but... It does seem brighter in here than it usually does. Now there's a tree right in front of my bed. All right, so that's that's uh, that's the castle revamp. It looks pretty cool. It looks uh, very lively now. Oh, we can go check the top now. That's for sure. Oh, more green. I don't know if the base would look like this though. I think it added this catwalk too. That's pretty cool. It took away all my cannon. What the fuck? All right, all right. So we're gonna move on to the next mod right now. Alright guys, so the next mod is Mauberge, the French city there that's going to take us to. So basically, you go to Diamond City, and as soon as you get in here, this is the main entrance. And right to your right, there's ba there is the professor is right there. So, we'll go right there, through that door. House of the Professor. Now, did I, did I got... Okay. All right, so I don't know if there was a key we were supposed to find here, but we'll just pick lock it since we got a good pick lock on it. Usually. Sweet. Sweet. All right, so basically it says... Well, bears, Professor, we have... I have to use the teleporter here to go to Mauberge. Professor's message. My teleporter works finally. It's time to try it. I hope not to fall in the wrong place. Okay. Oh. Okay. So basically, I just walked into it. I didn't even press anything. Oh. Okie dokie. Uh, that is not good. I'm wearing a power armor. Where the fuck am I? Alright guys, so before... So, before you go into to, to the teleporter... For some reason, the teleporter drags you right into a fucking... What seems like the deepest lake ever. Or the low... A low I, I'm guessing it's like a pond... Like a man-made pond or something. A square one. Or a glitch in the game, I have no clue. So, I took off the power armor so I can actually swim. So hopefully that helps and won't glitch out again. Alright, so... This is the weird fucking thing it loads me in. It's glitchy as fuck, so I guess we're gonna talk to this fella. Within an inch of collecting your organs on the ground, I did well to dig this well, finally. Listening, if teleporter you hear, you certainly because of the machine of the professor. And I have maybe a means to get back you there at your home. That's some weird-ass writing. I don't know what's trying to... 
I was trying to imitate like if somebody talking French. How? Professor has left notes in the box with provisions that I, I asked him, her, to bring me before dying. He died? Uh huh. I have an idea. You can go fetch me these provisions for me and take. You take notes for, and you take notes for you. This is weird writing. Uh, this I don't know how. Anyway. First one should find it where he was killed. I indicated on your pit boy. Good luck. A bit weird. There's no like, fine sentence punctuations and. If you need help, ask Max. Them, them can accompany you. And Kepit needs help. You don't mind. If you. The writing's poor on this one. A bit poor. All right. So. Basically, I don't want to. I don't want to do everything. I don't want to do all this. I just want to check how the map looks. Hmm. I don't know. Seems a bit dead. Okay, I'm gonna go to high ground because I want to see what this looks like. Where the hell am I? Alright, so it's a decent sized map for... It, say, it still says I'm in the, uh, the Commonwealth though. But it, yeah, the map does look like the Commonwealth. Let's go. What the fuck is that? That's a death claw. Not in a power armor. Just a fucking swath of fucking enemies around here. Vampiric. Okay. Feel unsafe. Holy shit, they just keep spawning, don't they? Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Try to steer clear of this death claw right here. Oh, Kidoki. All right, so so far I haven't found anything very particularly cool. The location is nice. It's a completely new location. It's just the way that the, the writing was a bit weird. Trying to explain to me like where, what to do in the mod, like the quest. So I didn't pay too much attention. I had a hard time understanding what the, what the, the mod was asking me to do. But the location is cool, but I feel like there's a lot of... Like I know this is fan made, so I'm not going to hold it uh, to the highest of standard, but... There's a lot of dead sp so far what I can see there's a lot of dead space right here right in this spot over here it's a bit uh is this fucking lava it is fuck what the fuck is this was there lava texture in this fucking game and this this is just fucking whatever the fuck artifacting Holy fuck, am I in a zombie apocalypse or? Alright, so there's a lot of stuff uh, on the minimap. There's there's a lot of small locations to find and stuff. But I won't I won't go through it all right now because it's probably pretty big. So yeah, for this episode, that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these mods I tried out. So we tried out the castle revamp, uh, the developer room, and Mauberge, the English edition because there is a French edition. Uh, if you understand French, probably the writing is a bit better in the French version. Uh, I don't know if I'll go back. I, I got plenty of other mods I want to try out. And this is it's a bit weird. I didn't understand what I, it said. It put me a marker on the map, but I couldn't find it. So we'll leave it at that. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. What do you think of this mod? If you tried it and understood it a bit better than me, uh, definitely tell me. And I'll, I might try it again on my spare time if I got a couple minutes. 
So yeah, follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here at YouTube.com forward slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.